Senator Paul, as it looks like, uh, if Iowa comes around, you may have a Republican control of the Senate. What will change? What will Republicans do uh, to bring about uh, the kind of America they want to see? I think you'll see an end to gridlock. I think you'll see bill after bill after bill presented to the president. And we'll decide, does the president want to work with us or is he going to obstruct the process? But I would say there are dozens of bills that are bipartisan. I have bills with Harry Reid and I couldn't even get a vote on them. I have bills with Cory Booker and couldn't get a vote on them. I think Mitch McConnell will get these things forward because he understands the only way to pass legislation in the Senate is to allow the minority party, and if that's the Democrats, we will allow them to have amendments, and we will allow them to have a say in the passage of the legislation. So what do you say to those who say this was a vote against President Obama, it was not a mandate for the Republicans? A little bit of both, but I, I wouldn't disagree. I would say this election was a repudiation not only of the president, but of Hillary Clinton. In my state, the Democrat candidate wouldn't even admit she voted for President Obama, but she proudly said she was a Clinton Democrat, and she got washed out. Same way in Arkansas. The Clintons, both of them, were there in Arkansas. I think the Clinton cachet's worn off a bit, and I think if you analyze the election, you'll find out the Clintons didn't have any great deal of effect bringing their Senator candidates Senator Paul, this is uh, Scott Pelley. I'm very sorry to interrupt, but we have breaking news that you're going to find very interesting. CBS News is making a projection now on the state of Kansas. CBS News is projecting that the incumbent Senator Republican Pat Roberts will be the winner in the state of Kansas. So this is a hold for the Republicans. Roberts is a three-term senator. He was fighting for his life on this race. It was only 48% of the vote in, but based on our exit polling information, we are projecting with confidence that Senator Roberts, the Republican, will hold on to his seat in Kansas. Senator, uh, Senator Paul, how, how does that news strike you? You know, I think that's good news. I was just out there visiting and campaigning with Senator Roberts, and uh, it's a tough race he went through, but uh, I think in the end, people decided they didn't want an independent that couldn't decide whether he was going to caucus with the Republicans or Democrats. I think a lot of people thought that he wasn't being completely honest with the public about his intentions. Uh, Senator Paul, <laughs> among Republicans, you seem to have been the one who's calling for a change in the Republican brand uh, that's got to reach out to Hispanics, to African Americans, and to young people. So what will you do to do that? You know, I think that for a long time, African Americans haven't said, oh, Republicans, I want to be a Republican. They just are turned off by there's something about Republicans. And so I think we need to change that because I don't think there's anything wrong with our policies. In fact, if you look at Detroit, I think Democrat policies have made things worse. Or if you look at the median household income right now for households that are led by African Americans, it's much worse under President Obama's policies. So I think we have something to offer, but there's this wall that separates us from African Americans, from some Hispanics, from some young people, some Asian Americans. So we do need to change our attitude and our, our, uh, the way we present ourselves to attract new people to our party. All right, Senator Rand Paul, congratulations and thank you for joining us tonight. And Amy Klobuchar won a second term two years ago as senator from Minnesota. This year she's been campaigning.